start the planning commission as far back as april 1962 nearly 3 years ago emphasized the need to make a thorough investigation into this question of developing agro industries and not merely make an investigation but also suggest various measures which should be undertaken immediately for the purpose of developing our rural industries and our rural economy based on agriculture so that the acute problem on unemployment and underemployment in our rural areas may be fairly and effectively tackled therefore the planning commission appointed a committee called the rural industries planning committee in april 1962 it was a very high power committee consisting of the deputy chairman of the planning commission and the ministers of commerce and industry and community development and the members of the planning commission dealing with the agriculture and industries this rural industries planning committee immediately set up a standing committee for the purpose of keeping continuous vigilance on the development of our rural industries and for the purpose of giving continuous guidance also to the planning commission for this purpose this standing committee considered the entire approach to be adopted and they formulated a scheme for the projects for intensive development of village and small scale industries in the rural areas i think it is a very remarkable study and survey of the entire problem and i would if the honorable members so desire make these schemes of the standing committee of the rural industries planning committee available to them it deals with the subject from the point of view of objectives first of all our objective is to build a viable rural economy in which not only agriculture and irrigation are to be developed but along with that a whole setup of industrial complex based upon our agriculture based upon our rural conditions would be developed and they would be not merely of the stereotyped pattern of khadi and ambar charkha and so on but of a diversified pattern for the purpose of producing a viable economy in the villages so that in vast parts of the country even where agriculture is fairly efficient where we have a large number of unemployed persons agriculturists and also non agriculturists could be given full time employment the whole objective is to produce this type of economy which will contribute towards solving this acute problem of unemployment they selected 45 projects and allotted them to the various states to all the 15 states and each project covered 3 to 5 community development blocks with a population of roughly 3 to 5 lakhs so that a fairly substantial population was immediately covered and then they carried out a comprehensive and thorough survey of these pilot project areas these 45 areas which covered 3 to 5 community development blocks with a population of 3 to 5 lakhs these 45 pilot project areas were selected in such a way that somewhere these areas were such where agriculture was prosperous and yet there was a large population pressing on the soil 
which could not be employed either wholly or even partially. There were areas which were backward from the agricultural point of view, where agriculture was difficult due to irrigation not being available and due to other factors where even agriculturists owing lands were not comfortable economically. There were the absolutely unfavorable areas climatically and otherwise which were backward and which had to be developed from every point of view, agriculture, industry and everything. They also selected areas from the tribal areas and other so-called backward areas. A thorough survey was undertaken of these 45 pilot project areas because it is no use trying to set up industries or even select the industries which are going to be set up in these areas unless we have a thorough survey of all the economic factors concerning each area selected. It will be appreciated immediately that each area selected will have its own problems, will have its own environments, will have its own complex of population, skilled and everything else, which will make a particular selection necessary for that area, whereas it will be wholly inappropriate in another area. That is why a thorough survey was undertaken. I think Mr. T. N. Singh was then member of the planning commission when this was undertaken. They carried out a thorough survey of these areas and the survey continued until July 1963 when we had more or less a fair idea of the problems of these 45 pilot project areas and then formulation of the program started about the beginning of 1964 after the survey was completed because after the facts were ascertained the programs had to be finalized and that took further three to four months. The programs had been finalized in the beginning of 1964 and for the implementation of the programs selected for these 45 pilot areas, the planning commission has been providing funds full stop over.